Hi, my name is Ryan McCarthy. I'm a sophomore at Kent State University and I'm an integrated language arts major. And today we're going to learn something. And welcome to my instructional video on Cranberry Morphine. Now, you may be asking yourself, Ryan, what is a morpheme? A morpheme is the smallest unit of language that cannot be divided any further, but still has meaning. There are two kinds of morphemes, for now. Free and bound morphemes. Here are some examples. So, what's a cranberry morpheme? Cranberry morphemes are morphemes that only appear in one specific word and do not fit into any other context, in contrary to most morphemes, where their context can be seen in many instances. These morphemes are in one word and one context. Let's look at some here. Okay, so if we take these given words here and we break them down into their syllables, we can see that one of their syllables is a common word, uh, and the other one is very uncommon, especially in this context. Um, and this is actually the only context that these words are seen, these morphemes are seen in. Um, so let's look at the, the titular name, cranberry. Uh, these morphemes are called this because the cranberry features uh, an iconic morpheme that is only seen in one context, uh, the morpheme cran. This morpheme is not seen anywhere else, and that's why it has the name. Uh, same thing here with boysen, berry. Uh, the morpheme boysen is not seen anywhere. Obviously, we see the word berry often. We see it three times, four times here on this, on this uh, picture. Uh, huckleberry also. This one is kind of context, uh, you know, contested, um, but I think that people recognize huckle as a cranberry morpheme. Um, lukewarm, the luke morpheme uh, works because it is the only context in which it is seen uh, in this context, meaning uh, kind of. And crayfish, cray is a morpheme only seen in this word. So yeah, these are all cranberry morphemes. Thanks for that explanation. Here's some more examples of cranberry morphemes. So if we were to break these three words down into syllables, we would see that twilight, uh, the morpheme twi, uh, is not seen anywhere else. Unkempt, the morpheme kempt, not seen anywhere. And cobweb, uh, cob is not seen anywhere. It is seen in corn in the cob, but not in this context. Here are all of my sources. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I really hope you learned something. Keep your eyes peeled for more cranberry morphemes in the wild. Thank you.